Here's how to change or edit widgets on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and there's a widget on the home screen here, or maybe on the lock screen, and you wanted to change it to a different one, you wanted to customize and control it, maybe stack widgets on top of each other, I'll show you how to do all of it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now on here, you can see I have this Raleigh and it has the weather widget on my home screen. Now to be able to edit this and control it, I can do a couple different things. I can just tap and hold anywhere on my screen until I start seeing the wiggly symbols with the minus at the top left. Now on here, of course, you can control and customize the size of widgets. So you can see at the bottom right corner, I can take my finger and I can swipe it over if I wanted that widget to be bigger, or I can even make it bigger than that. So you have three different sizes, this size, the size that's kind of horizontal or the kind of small square. So you can control any widget on your phone to be different sizes on the home screen. Now, of course, you can tap on the little minus here and hit remove if you no longer want in that widget. But let's say I just wanted to change it to a different widget. What I'm going to do is hit edit or the minus symbol first and then hit edit. And you can see at the top left, add widget. So tap on add widget and it will allow you to add anything else. So I can scroll down and let's say instead of that, I wanted the calendar here. So I can hit add calendar. And again, I can control the size of that. Now, another cool thing is I can hit edit, add widget. And then on here, you can see a smart stack or I can just search for stack here. Now, the cool thing is I can add a smart stack, which will have multiple different widgets stacked on each other. And you can see I can swipe through to have like news and calendar and stocks, all that stuff. I can also create my own stack as well, though. So let's say that and then I'm going to also choose I want the weather back in there. So let's tap on weather to add it back in and add, add widget. Now I can just take my finger and slide one on top of the other. And you'll see just like that, it has stacked those widgets on top of each other. Now, if I get out of here, all I need to do is take my finger and swipe up or down on here to be able to go back and forth. This doesn't seem to be working. Let me here tap and hold on here again and basically be able to swipe back and forth and then go back here and there we go. I can swipe back and forth, that was a little bug there, but you can swipe back and forth between the weather and the calendar or whatever widgets you want. Now keep in mind, these are all the widgets that are default to your home screen, but you can also have widgets that you can edit and customize on your lock screen. To do that, let's head into your settings and we will tap on wallpaper here. And you can see the left-hand side is the lock screen. I'm gonna hit customize. And you can see right under the time is add widgets. I can tap on that. And again, it gives me a long list of various apps. So again, I can tap on weather. Now, instead of the home screen, the lock screen has two different sizes. One is a small square and the other one is sort of this rectangle horizontal. I can add that and you can see there's room for two different ones here. So I can say add that and let's say I also wanted to add stocks. Just like that, you can customize and control those widgets on your lock screen. Of course, you can tap on that little minus if you no longer wanted one on there and you wanted to remove that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.